Hello YouTubers! Thank you for watching this video. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Blushes. Now I recently purchased two of these. One in Blushing Organics and one in Natural Organics. Now these little brushes come like this. They are powerful cardboard packaging, um, they do say it's 93% less plastic than the other compacts, however, because this is mostly cardboard, it's not really that much less packaging. Now the powder comes something like this, um, obviously I've actually used this, but they do have, you know, a nice leaf design, and the other side is a mirror where you fit the brush into, and it does come with a brush. Um, other reviewers have noted though that this brush is rather hard, and it is indeed rather hard to for those of you with sensitive skin, this may not be usable. Now, let me just show you the other color. This is the Blushing Organic. Um, they also have another one, I believe, Rosy Organics, uh, that appear to be a very dark color. However, um, as I will explain, it may not be all that dark. So anyway, when I first uh, opened these, I used them as you would any normal compact. I swiped my brush through it and applied it to my face. You know, it's there's no color. See if you swipe your brush through, the brush still has no color. Even though this particular compact, it does look like it will be a nice peachy pink red tone. So barely any color. Um, you will not be able to sell, but if you flick the brush, puffs off, powder will come out. So, it's just the fact that this powder is not very pigmented at all. And, so what I have found, actually, instead of tossing this, as some reviewers have um, stated that they do because of this issue, um, first of all, they have powder in it, actually a significant percentage of powder which is a clay that can be used to absorb oil. So if you're very oily, this might actually be a good thing, that there's not much color, so you just apply it all over your forehead. And actually, I do have an oily T-zone, and I have applied it to my forehead, and as you can see, it does work. Um, I actually realized that if you rub it on your cheeks, um, sort of like you would a cream uh, blush stick or anything, it does give light color, but again, there's not enough pigmentation. Now, I am wearing this shade. Well, a combination of these two shades right now on my cheeks. There's some color. Um, I will admit the color is a little darker than I had expected. Um, mostly due to the fact that the majority of the color is actually from this compact uh, right in the middle there. This brown brownish peachish color. But the method I have discovered to impart color is actually to soak this brush in water. Basically just soak it. Forget misting, you know, dip this into water and then you sort of squeeze it out. But what happens is sort of like when you foil your eyeshadows, um, when you apply your eyeshadow sweat, it actually comes out very pigmented, um, you might not be able to see, but it is very, the color is very nice, and if you can see here, when I apply it to my arm, right here, sorry for the awkward angle, guys, Oops. yeah, sorry, you can't really see on this, uh, I don't know if you can see the contrast doesn't appear to be that nice. Sorry about that. Old computer, no one broke, so. Um, anyway, so this looks gorgeous. It's a cute concept. Um, this thing does wiggle, so it might not be as secure. Um, and you can see these are close by magnets. So it's cool, it's very lightweight. Because of all the hardware, I would not be afraid of dropping it, and honestly, if I drop, I've um, read some reviews where the reviewer said what they did, basically they created a loose powder with it and now it works wonderfully for an all over the face powder 
And I would imagine that, yes, dry, it would work beautifully for all of this powder. However, if you would like actual color, then you need to apply it wet. And even when it is, even when your brush is soaking, it's barely any color. As you can see from my cheek, I'm actually wearing it right now. And I've done maybe three or four times um, with this wet, um, as well as a few times dry. So, you know, buyer, sort of, buyer, beware, um, this, it, it will make a great powder for, um, you know, controlling your oily T-zones, but it's not a great blush as a blush. Yep, so thank you for watching this video, um, if you liked it, please hit subscribe or the like button, and I hope to have more of these videos up soon. Bye!